Hey everyone, it's Russell again with Down South Pickers. I want to bring another video of some of the recent items that sold on the eBay store. Like last time, uh, I just asked if you liked the last video or some of the content that we're, we're going to do in this uh, video. Hey, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer. We'd like to have you come along as we uh, go to yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, whatever we may do. Just uh, We'd like to have you follow along and just show what we've uh, bought at these yard sales uh, and flipped on eBay on our store for some money. Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first item I found at a yard sale, uh, it's a small item. I mean, I think, you you know, it's not going to be a big money maker or whatever, but hey, it was new. It's a, it's a lawnmower belt for a John Deere tractor, and uh, the reason I thought it was a pretty good flip is uh, I bought it for a dollar, and if you see right here, I sold it for $28.95 and plus shipping, so made pretty good money off of it. Like I said, you're not going to get rich, you know, just selling one of these a week, but uh, I thought it was a pretty good return on investment. Another thing you need to be on the lookout for if you're out uh, this spring, this summer, whatever, are tennis rackets. Uh, I bought two at a recent yard sale. They were used, uh, not, not in that bad of shape. Had a few nicks and scrapes and stuff on them. The handle was a little bit worn. But this particular brand uh, brought pretty good money. It's a Babolat. And uh, the reason I say that, I bought two of them, and one of them was a different brand. But I gave $4 for both of the rackets. And you can see I sold this one. It sold pretty quick for $40. Uh, come with the case and the cover. You can see the spelling on it. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Babolat. But uh, be on the lookout for that particular brand. It, it brings pretty good money when I looked at the comps on sold on eBay. So... Another item to look out for, I know a lot of people look at these when they're at yard sales and stuff, are uh, video game, video game accessories. This particular controller is for a PlayStation 2, this the DualShock controller. Uh, instead of being the uh, gray or the black one that comes standard with uh, the game system or whatever, this particular one's a cobalt blue. And uh, I bought several controllers at this yard sale this particular day. I gave 50 cents each for every one of them. Uh, I think I picked up five or six, and uh, I got two of these blue ones. And uh, yeah, 50 cents for this, I sold it for $21. That included free shipping, but it wasn't much to ship it. If you remember in the last video I posted, I talked about hunting items and things to look out for. I'd actually bought this. It's a, it's a vintage, uh, predator collar for coyotes, bobcats and stuff. People hunt the coyote and uh, different predators. This was back in the day when they used cassettes and it was, uh, you used it and you charged up the battery. <clears throat> this particular one, I didn't have the charging cable or whatever with it, so I sold it as is. And I had $5 in it and, uh, it, and I put in the description that I didn't have a charging cable with no way to test it. It was gonna be sold as is. And uh, I actually got $55 plus shipping on it. So be on the lookout for these vintage hunting items. People collect them. I did buy several of these archery. Uh, this is for a compound bow. It's an archery drop away arrow rest. And uh, this particular store at this time when I was in it was clearing out. They had five of these left and I asked them if uh, they'd make a better deal on them. So the manager came over and we worked out a deal and I got the all five of them for $15, and I've sold them. This is the most recent one. Uh, I've sold it for $20, $28.99, and that was free shipping. Of course, the thing was real light. I, I shipped it first class, so I thought I made pretty good money off of it. Another item to be on the lookout for, you'll find these a lot of times in the thrift stores, on the shelf, uh, a lot of times in yard sales and people are, you know, remodeling or cleaning out their house or whatever. Uh, look for these thermostats. Uh, this is a particular uh, good brand, Honeywell, but the thing that was uh, the big seller on this one, it's uh, it's Wi-Fi, and it's the touch screen, but it's Wi-Fi controlled, and uh, it come along with a manual. I actually gave $1 for this and ended up selling it for $49.99 uh, with free shipping. Another clearance item I found uh, in one of the retail stores, actually there was two of these, two just alike, the Orbit, uh, 
it's a it's a watering kit timer for uh, like an irrigation system or plant water and uh, I bought both of these I believe I gave seventeen dollars for both both of them I listed them and within two hours I guess I listed them too cheap but anyway I went by the compared solds on eBay and uh, yeah, I gave seventeen dollars for both of them. I sold both of them at forty-five dollars each plus shipping. So uh, that was a pretty good return in two hours. Just to take the time to photograph it and get it listed. Another item I sold. Uh, these are I, I actually bought a lot of uh, several pneumatic air nailers. This particular one is a Hitachi two and a half inch finish nail gun. Hitachi's a good brand if you pick them up. You know, some of the other brands that you might see out there, they're worth picking up. If you see any air nailers, uh, would be Bostitch, uh, Cinco. But this particular brand, uh, you can tell they're in used condition, but it comes with the safety glasses, the, the owner's manual, and the hard shell case. Out of the whole lot that I bought, I think I had maybe $5 in each one of them. So this one, I, you know, had $5 in it, and I ended up selling it for $40 plus shipping. And I did test it. I've got an air compressor at the house, plugged it in, worked on it, and made sure that uh, everything worked on it like it should before I, you know, sold it. Here's another item that was uh, on clearance the day I went into one of the retail stores, went in the clearance section, found, uh, along with, if you've seen the last video, I, I bought a lot of Beyblades, but this is a particular, I bought these and a, a lot of Lego sets. Uh, ended up having maybe six or seven dollars in this from the time I paid tax and all on it. But uh, yeah, this uh, Lego Movie Two, I had uh, like I said, no more money than I had in it. I had uh, sold it for thirty-eight fifty plus uh, plus shipping, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Like I said, that none of these that I'm showing you today, you're going to make you know hundreds of dollars, but they're good you know steady money if you can put in the time to find them and and get them listed. And the final item I'm going to show, I thought about keeping this because uh, I do buy a lot of video games when we're at yard sales and stuff. And some of them sometimes you'll find are scratched up. So I thought about keeping this. Uh, this is a Memorex Optifix. It cleans the DVDs for scratches and it's a repair kit. And it's brand new, but you can see the box is a little frayed. That was one reason I thought maybe I might keep it because I didn't know that would affect the sale, but I just took a chance to put it on there. It is new, uh, but I sold it, if you can see right here, that it was used because I, I was unsure about the shape of the box. But somebody ended up, I ended up buying it for $3 and sold it for $27 plus shipping. Well, that's it. That's uh, all I've got to show today. Like I said, if you're liking the videos, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you continue to want to see what we put out here on the, the videos on stuff we sell, hit the subscribe button. I'm planning on bringing more videos as we go. Again, thanks for watching.